Anarchy Brew Company, Lane Splitter. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got one from the Anarchy Brew Company. They're based up in Newcastle upon Tyne in the UK. Newcastle upon Tyne? <laughs> Did I just say that? Newcastle upon Tyne. Um, this is their Lane Splitter, which is a Northwest IPA. Now, if you're wondering what a Northwest IPA is, it's, um, it's a, a, an IPA that sort of originated around Oregon and Washington um, in the United States, which is on the West Coast, further up the Northwest Coast, if if, uh, if you want to get geographical about it. They used to be quite balanced IPAs. They were very um, hoppy, but they were also quite malty as well, and the two balanced each other out, and that was about 10 years ago. Apparently now that's all changed, and they are very, what they term as hop forward what I'd term as just basically really hoppy. And um, I want to see what that tastes like because I've never had anything from the Anarchy Brew Company and I've never had a Northwest IPA. Now, they're probably not the best people to be doing it because it's obviously it's brewed over here. But it's been brewed with um, in collaboration with SB. And for the life of me, I can't remember what brewery that is. I do apologise. I'll put it in the description below. But it's, um, it's in a 440ml can. It is a 5.5% in the volume. The malts that are in this are extra pale crystal and dark crystal. Crystal malt, of course, is where it's been roasted um, a little bit longer and it produces sugar crystals on there. But that gives it a unique flavour as well. Uh, the, uh, the dark crystal, where it's been roasted a little bit more. The kettle hops are Azaka and the whirlpool hops are Sentinel, uh, Columbus, and the dry hops are Columbus, Sentinel and Cascade. All American hops. So I imagine this is going to be a supremely hoppy beer. Uh, this is, as I say, this is the first one I've had from the Anarchy Brew Company. There's the can. I do like the, car the, uh, the can cover. It's bike related. And of course, me being a biker, I do like anything bike related. That looks like a, some sort of old Harley chop going through the Arizona desert there, uh, as far removed from Newcastle upon Tyne as you could probably get. For starters, the sun's out. The sun never shines in Newcastle. It's a sad fact. Probably. What's on the nose out of the can? Oh, hoppy. Wow. There is big, big citrusy American hops coming out of this can. There's also some fruit. I'm getting some sweet fruit like peach or mango on that as well. But it, it's overwhelmingly hoppy. So I'm just gonna pour this into the can now. Pour it into the can, pour it out of the can into the glass. And there it goes. I've tried I'm saying this is the first one I've tried from the Anarchy Brew Company. That's actually a lie because I was in, um, where was it? It was a craft beer company in Clerkenwell in London. And I tried some of their, they had a, a brown ale, which was really nice. Or Actually, no, it wasn't a brown ale, it was a Best Bitter. I think it was called, was it Backfire or something? But I remember it, it was really nice. I mean, quality stuff. So that's what made me want to get this... Um, this stuff from Beers of Europe, who came up trumps. There it is in the glass, and again, I will need to sort out that dishwasher, because it ain't cleaning the glasses as good. If you can see that, all them bubbles sticking to the side of the glass, that means the glass is slightly dirty, and I've got to do something about that. But in the, in the glass, there's lots of carbonation. It's very hazy, nice orangey color on the nose. 
or the same hops but it smells really good let's get it down the gob oh that is lovely that is really good now the as I say the definition of um, a northwest IPA was very as they like to term it hop forward not much malt on that but what they miss out on the malt they really do make up for it with the fruit so on the palate initially I'm getting that bitterness that hop bitterness from the cascade hops I think it is but then afterwards that gives way to a big fruity sweet fruit or tropical fruit sort of rush and in that you've got the peach mango and a little bit of passion fruit in there as well and it works quite well and they do say about the malts the crystal malts that are in here I'm not getting much of that at all but it's really nice I do like that I was expecting absolutely tons and tons of American citrusy hops and just being sort of overwhelmed by it but it's actually quite balanced it's got yeah it has got them big grapefruit citrus bitter hops on it but it's also got the fruit as well which takes the edge off them hops so initially you do get that big American style grapefruity hoppy bitterness but then it's sort of as I say it, it takes the edge off it from the um, from the the huge bitterness that you're tasting with them sweet fruits leaving a really nice dangerously drinkable Northwest IPA and I'm very impressed with it that is really good as I say this is the first one I've had from the Anarchy Brew Company out of a can I've had them on draft and they were good as well I should get some of that um, I think it was Backfire was it Backfire or something I'm getting confused it was their what they called an extra special, extra special bitter but it was really good and uh, and this stuff as well you know I'm getting to like this brewery quite a lot this is a collaboration with um, SB SB Barbers that's who the uh, collaboration is I've been told or I've read that they don't produce this anymore which is a shame because this is really nice really good nice nice pine notes off them American hops as well it's really fruity you know I know I keep going on about the hops but the fruit in this is um, almost but not quite making it feel slightly like a, a an east coast <clears throat> but it's not it's it's subtle the fruits are a bit more subtle than an east coast east coast are just fucking right in your face with the fruits but I really like that that is good I like the can I like the artwork on there and that's as I say that's the second beer I've tried I forgot about the one I had on draft that's the second one I've had from the Anarchy Brew Company and that's been good so I would give this I give it a 9 out of 10 now it wasn't cheap I think this was over a 5 or a can it's a 440ml can so you've got to bear that in mind that's why I'm knocking a mark off for it is it worth £5 in for 440 mils of it well it is good I will give it that it's very good so I'd recommend it if you're flush and you can get hold of it you know if they have stopped um, making it then you know stocks are going to sell out fast the sell by date on this is August 20, 2020 so you've got a few months yet if you want to get some 
but I'd, en I'd encourage you if you like your you know your, your American IPAs either your East Coast or your West Coast to try this this is a really really good one that's brewed in the UK so yeah so yeah recommended and remember beer is working class champagne